So I've been following Donald Trump his whole life. Okay, I'm a, a very big fan, a supporter. And, you know, I'm going to just tell you something. And I know it's very hard to take me seriously because I have a lot of hair on my body. But just try to hear it. Let me just get my face. Okay. So this is my feelings with DWOC. And I'm going to tell you why I'm a little skeptical. Even though I am a big Trump supporter. Um, I've never seen Donald pay for anything in his life. So, like, like no, I'm, I'm being real with you, okay? L listen to me. I'm, talk I'm not talking about real estate. I'm talking about services, but even real estate. Primarily, he uses banks' money. He even calls himself the king of debt, okay? Because it's very rare that he'll put his own money down on a deal. Then he does other deals on the side where people will license the name Trump, pay him, you know, a licensing fee, a management fee, and give him an equity position. And he's not even laying out a, a, a penny, they're just using the name Trump on the building. Some other developer is in charge of the financing and everything. Okay. Donald just gets an equity position, a management fee, and an upfront licensing fee. So, you know, you see a lot of things like Trump websites. <clears throat> Very rarely he pays for them. You know, people just do it on the arm because it's Donald Trump. And they're just like, look, I want to work with you. You know, some people even speculate that. You know, his wedding was paid for for free. Listen, again, I have to, I have to say alleged. But but people say that. that Just so that the, um, you know, photographers and the news uh, outlet that's covering the wedding, like when he got married to Melania at Mar-a-Lago, they just want the rights to take all the pictures of the celebrities. And for that, they lay out the money for the entire wedding. So I could go on and on and on. He's not known for paying a lot. Like I said, even like when he had the financial troubles with the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, you know, and he this was in the early 90s and not he didn't go into personal bankruptcy, but his companies, his companies did to work out financial matters, not personal, but business. And, you know, he offered these contractors like pennies on the dollar because he was in he was in financial stress. They're like, look, you owe me a million dollars. He's like, all right, I'll give you 10 percent. I'll give you a hundred thousand. They're like, oh, we'll just take you to court. And he's like, well, you'll lose because I'll put my business in bankruptcy, which is exactly what he did, you know? And then, um, you know, to get out of debt, it was a very clever move. He started Trump uh, Entertainment Resorts, which was a stock, okay? And he kind of switched the liability over to the public. You know what I mean? That stock plummeted, by the way. People lost a lot of money on that. That was no joke. But he's just a very brilliant guy in terms of not using his own money to succeed. He always uses other people's money. He real, rarely pays for anything. Now we're going to get to the point of the video. He just laid out, I think, I read it was a $13 million retainer. He paid it. This is unlike Donald Trump. <laughs> to a lawyer, to an attorney to represent him with this whole matter with the FBI classified documents. And I, I have to tell you something. I've never seen anything like this. I've been following Trump for like years, since I'm a kid. And I have never seen him pay such a high retainer to a lawyer. And I can only assume, and I'm just going to say it's alleged. I have to always say this. It's alleged. And this whole video is alleged. Okay, It's just subject to my opinion. It's not subject to facts. It's just subject to my opinion of what I've read over the years. Entertainment purposes only. Um, I have to be... I don't know. I have to be a little concerned that for a person who never lays out money, lays out $13 million for an attorney for, you know, of just a retainer. That's just a retainer. He must, he must be a little nervous. Wouldn't you agree? He must think that he's really facing something serious here. Okay. Then he's got that other stupid thing he's dealing with. Now the order, the, the judge just ordered him to show up with the uh, crazy woman, you know, who alleged that Donald Trump raped her or whatever again. Alleged. And this was the lady that Donald Trump said was not his type, remember? Because she looks like she's like this senior citizen. She's old. I mean, obviously, when this event happened, this was a very long time ago, maybe 20, 30 years ago. But you look at her now and you look at Melania and you can kind of understand Donald Trump's point, right? She's not my type, you know. <laughs> she looks like she's 90 years old. I got a supermodel here married to me. The, our former first lady. Um, but anyway, he has to show up in court 
and the judge is not allowing him to postpone that case. So he's got that on his, his back. He's not really too concerned with that. But this whole um, FBI thing with the classified documents, for him to lay out a $13 million retainer to an attorney, he's got to be worried. Now, just for these reasons alone, I'm a little skeptical with DWOC. Because I don't know what's going to be the turnout. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if he's going to run again. I don't know if these liberal pieces of garbage, um, you know, I hate them. I'm going to be honest with you. I do hate them. Okay. I'm going to do everything in their power to stop him. Um, so the thing is, I'm a little skeptical on DWOC. Now, obviously, if Trump wins in 2024, which we all hope, okay, we all hope. Okay, and he somehow manages to get out of all of this craziness that these, uh, you know, the, the left is doing everything in their power here to, to keep him out of office. Then I think DWOC is going to be a major success. But then at that point, will he even need DWOC if he's the president, right? I mean, you know, when you're the president, you, you have everyone's basically cell phone number. I don't know if you know this. And he can send out presidential alerts to everybody. So, and then, um, I mean, he might just do it just, just so that he doesn't have to deal with Twitter and Facebook and all that politically uh, correct and uh, biased, you know, BS. But until I feel confident that he's running again, at least, until I feel confident that he gets over a lot of these issues that he's facing, I'm a little skeptical with DWOC. I'm a little skeptical. That's it. So... Just this is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer.